Hi, Bogoga here. My dad has been riding motorcycles for over 30 years. His current bike is an old school 2000 Harley Davidson Road King. And like every responsible motorcycle owner, he takes care of his bike and does a lot of his own maintenance. He's been introducing me to the hobby of riding motorcycles and wants to teach me how to maintain my own bike. Today, he's going to be teaching me how to do an oil change on his motorcycle. So before anything, always make sure to refer to your owner's manual. It'll include what kind of filter you need, which oil to buy, and how often to change it. The first thing he does is start up the bike and let it run for a bit. This is to warm up the oil so it flows better and makes it easier to drain. Once he's done with that, he parks his bike and unscrews the oil cap. He checks the oil level on the dipstick and wants to see if there are any impurities in the oil. Impurities in your oil can signal that there are some problems with the bike. For example, metal flakes can indicate that there is unwanted metal on metal contact, or milky oil can mean that coolant is leaking and mixing with your engine oil. Once he's done checking, he grabs his socket wrench and oil pan and loosens the oil plug on the bottom of his bike. The draining process can take a while, but you want to make sure that nothing else is dripping out. Get as much of the old oil out and prevent a mess from spilling all over your floors. While it drains, he preps his new filter and oil plug. Whenever you remove your oil plug, you should check to see if you need to replace the o-ring or the washer. If your o-ring is made out of rubber, you should always replace this. Whenever he installs a new filter, he fills it up with a bit of new oil and lubricates the rubber seal. This will help the oil flow through the filter and seal it to the bike and prevent leaks. Now it's time to replace the old filter. First, my dad puts some paper towels under the filter to catch most of the oil that's going to come out. Then he attaches his Harley Davidson oil filter cap to his socket wrench and starts to loosen it. It reminds me to make sure your bike is in gear so it doesn't move while you're operating on it. A little more old oil will spill out. Okay, a lot more. So make sure to have your oil pan ready. After he cleans the area, he puts his new filter on. He makes sure it's nice and snug, but not too tight. If it's too tight, it may rip the seal. Finally, once the filter and oil plug have been reinstalled, it's time to fill up the bike with new oil. My dad gets his funnel and starts pouring. Again, if you don't know how much oil your bike needs, refer to the owner's manual. He fills it repeatedly and checks the oil level with his dipstick. Once it gets to an appropriate level, he screws on the oil cap and starts his bike so the oil can run through the bike's system. Once it's run for a few minutes, he checks the oil level again and makes sure it's filled to the appropriate level. After finishing up, he puts all the old oil into the emptied oil can so he can bring it to an auto store so it can be recycled. And that's how my dad taught me to change the oil on a motorcycle. Thank you for watching and see you next time.